It took two and a half weeks, but investigators have arrested two suspects in the fatal shooting of six-year-old Aiden Laos on an Orange County freeway. This afternoon, we learned more about them and what led to their arrests. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica DeNova live in the city of Orange with more. Jessica? That shooting more than two weeks ago happened just south of this memorial that sits over the 55 freeway. And like you mentioned, Mark, earlier in a press conference, we heard from investigators that hundreds of tips from the public were extremely helpful in these arrests. Just hours after Aiden Leos's family laid his body to rest, a reminder from the Orange County District Attorney as he prepares to file charges against the suspects in the six-year-old's death. And I was unequivocally clear with them turn yourself in, turn yourself in, and they didn't, and they didn't. And so now it's time for the system to do what it's designed to do, and that is hold people accountable. Investigators combing through these photos and videos posted on Instagram. Police with the California Highway Patrol say the man in them, 24-year-old Marcus Anthony Ariz, is one of two suspects behind the freeway killing of Aiden Leos on May 21st. Both suspects, a male and female, are residents of Costa Mesa. We have recovered what we believe are the weapon and automobile used in the crime. Investigators say a woman, 23-year-old Wynn Lee, was the driver of the white Volkswagen during a road rage incident on the 55 North. Aiden's mom was driving her six-year-old to school when police say a shot from the VW hit and killed Aiden. Sources tell ABC News Lee and Ariz are boyfriend and girlfriend. The two arrested outside their Costa Mesa home Sunday afternoon. We were not following them for weeks on end or, you know, from the beginning. It, it, uh, it was pretty fluid, and uh, when we... We were comfortable making the arrests and we felt we had enough. We went in and made the arrests at the appropriate time. Jail records show Ariz is employed in the auto industry. Eyewitness News spoke with the suspects, former employers who say they've received threats and bad reviews after news of Ariz's arrest broke. But Ariz stopped working at Platinum Collision Centers in Corona in January. I'm upset for that baby mm -hmm. and fa that family, you know, and for somehow for us to be linked to that, it's just killing me. According to Ariza's former boss, the suspect was looking for a job with the company again, sending this text the week after the shooting. And I was curious if you had any positions open anywhere. I'm willing to go to any shop available. I also have someone here that's an office manager that wants to leave. Please let me know and thank you for your time, sir. Public and private donations brought the reward amount in this case up to half a million dollars, but investigators say they do not want to discuss that at this time. Meanwhile, the two suspects are scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow morning. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.